Hello everyone and welcome back. We're going to continue our exploration of modifying the DOM. This video is going to be all about modifying element styles without using classes. So this is one way to manipulate the DOM in ways that don't involve classes. Now, generally speaking, this is not that great of an idea because it's less sustainable in large projects. Just like it's not generally a good idea to add styles directly to your HTML, instead you should put them in a CSS file. This is the same type of thing. You can do this and it works. It's generally not a good idea, in, except in very specific circumstances. But that said, it does have its place if you're doing small stuff, and it's important that you understand it, at least from a conceptual level. So we're going to go ahead and just modify some elements. So to give you an example, let's change the background color. We've already did this in another one, so you may remember this, but we're going to do it again. Document dot query selector, and let's get the ordered list. And then you access the style dot background color equals green. And it makes the background color green. And now if you look at the inspector and look at that, you'll see that it has that style tag added directly to the element. Remember, we can always do this. We've always had the option to put this in our HTML like that. It's just not a good idea because it's not sustainable. But with your JavaScript, you can do that. You can change the font family. So let's get that instead of background color equals green, we can do font family equals, let's do Roboto. See if I have if I have that loaded on this page. Nope, it's not loaded on the page. So instead let's do cursive. There you go, now they're all in cursive. You can change the color itself, which is the text color. Color equals red, apparently it's Christmas around here. Oops, it would help if I just hit enter, there we go. Notice that it does not update the color of the links. I mean, you can change a lot of different stuff. You can change the margin equals, I don't know, 1 EM, 0, 2 EM, 0. And you see that it added a little bit on the bottom. We can change that again. Uh, let's do 4 EM on the bottom and 3 EM on the top, and maybe put 200 pixels on the left. Or on the right, rather. 200 pixels on the right. And you can update this as much as you want, 500 pixels on the left. So you can see how you can just add these. And again, if we look in our inspector, all that's doing is adding them to the style tag. All that's doing is updating this element's style tag. There is a list of all of these style properties on the MDM docs. So let's just go ahead and look at that. You can see they've got all these different docs. In CSS, this is what it's called. In JavaScript, this is what it's called. Usually they're the same or they have the same name, but CSS uses snake case, which is the hyphen in the middle, while JavaScript uses camel case, which is lower case first, and then all the rest of the words are capitalized and they're smushed together. So border hyphen bottom in CSS, border bottom with capital B in JavaScript. So you can select all the things, and this is the list, the giant list of them all. If you want that, just Google CSS properties reference. One thing to note, it's like it says here, this list is incomplete. For more properties, see the main CSS reference. And they have a cool CSS extension if you want to install that. Includes examples on how to use them. So if you want more in-depth or what you're looking for is not here, it might be in this main CSS reference. Let's find it. There it is. Nice, big old honking long list of everything. So if you're looking for something that's not in that first one, look here. And that is it for this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.